Imagine if we could power our phones, light up our homes, and charge electric vehicles just by using the moisture in the air. While Nikola Tesla dreamed over a century ago of accessing wireless energy all around us, researchers have now made an unexpected discovery that could realize this vision. A team at the University of Massachusetts Amherst has found that we may be able to convert humidity into electricity. Known as hydroelectric power, their breakthrough was initially just a curious finding, but it has potential to transform how we get renewable energy. The story began when Professor Jun Yeo and his students were developing a new type of air humidity sensor using nanostructures. However, during testing, they noticed the sensor was producing an electric current even when unplugged. Perplexed by this strange phenomenon, they dug deeper to understand what was occurring. Through experiments, Yao's team discovered that humidity in the air could induce an electric charge through direct interactions with the sensor's nanoscale materials. Though the exact science is still unclear, they believe water molecules create an imbalance when contacting the tiny structures, similar to the function of a battery. The researchers then optimized their design by trying different nanostructure shapes and compositions. Remarkably, all attempts successfully harnessed electric power from humidity alone. This suggests the technology could be adapted using new breakthrough materials in the future to generate even more energy. While outputs are small currently, scaling up the design could provide meaningful power. A Portuguese startup called Cascata Chuva aims to commercialize larger hydroelectric devices for homes and businesses by 2024. Unlike solar, wind or hydro, humidity batteries could work around the clock and be installed virtually anywhere indoors or out. If successfully developed, harvesting energy from thin air could open new opportunities for off-grid green power. Harnessing a ubiquitous yet overlooked resource, hydroelectricity holds tremendous potential to advance renewable energy worldwide. Continued innovation may one day realize Tesla's vision of living surrounded by a natural wireless electric field. While hydroelectric technology remains in early stages, continued research indicates it may be more than a singular finding. Scientists at Tsinghua University have created humidity-powered films capable of 1.5 volts, showing intriguing results. Researchers in Beijing are also experimenting with wearable devices run by atmospheric moisture. This growing body of work suggests the initial discovery of powering nanostructures through humidity is more than a fluke. Though the exact mechanisms are still unknown, progress in different applications implies a genuine phenomenon that warrants further exploration. As understanding incrementally deepens, hydroelectricity shows promise as a bona fide new energy domain. Beyond academic labs, an entrepreneurial startup called Cascata Chuva aims to commercialize the concept. Though their proposed household humidity batteries forecast a hefty $15,000-$20,000 price, mass manufacturing could reduce costs over time. More importantly, the idea of renewable power available anywhere could expand energy access in valuable ways. For those unable to utilize standard solar or wind, hydroelectricity presents an alternative off-grid option. Even at small scales before mainstream viability, humidity batteries hold diverse applications. Charging individual devices rather than whole homes circumvents many infrastructure challenges. Portable power sources could support remote operations disconnected from grids. In emergencies when other systems falter, atmospheric energy harnessing offers independent backups. Many uncertainties remain as the science matures. However, humanity's most pivotal innovations often emerged from curious discoveries like this, not certainties. While commercialization timelines appear distant, 
continued study might someday actualize visions of ubiquitous wireless power interwoven with our atmosphere. For now, the investigation of hydroelectricity worthily adds a new chapter to our progress towards abundant clean energy worldwide. Uncertainties and obstacles for humidity batteries. While hydroelectric devices show potential for powering small electronics, hurdles remain before the technology reaches maturity. Even proponents acknowledge much is still unknown about the molecular interactions fueling these prospective humidity batteries. Elucidating the precise mechanisms at work proves crucial for meaningful scale-up. Furthermore, scaling nanostructured materials introduces various production challenges. Sourcing nanomaterial components presents obstacles, as manufacturing at such microscopic levels remains technically difficult and expensive. Questions also surround the durability and lifetimes of these minute structures under real-world operating conditions. Additional unknowns involve performance over prolonged use and potential degradation factors. Environmental contaminants, like dust and pollutants, endanger clogging the narrow pores, as seen with other tiny electronic components. Without understanding degradation modes, Ensuring proper maintenance remains conjectural. Commercialization timelines from startups like Cascata rely heavily on computational predictions rather than physical prototypes subjected to independent review. While years of research lend credibility, privately developed technologies require proper vetting before confirming technical and economic feasibility. Progress clearly demands continued investigation into known unknowns as the field evolves. Before dismissing possibilities, these uncertainties highlight the exploratory nature of hydroelectricity rather than any fundamental flaws. With further study, lucky insights or refinements may help overcome existing obstacles. However, prudence mitigates hype until addressing open questions proves commercial and residential applications viable. For now, open discussion on both promise and challenges moves the discussion productively forward.